Good evening and welcome. Glad you're here. Today I will be playing my Frank Gambale FG1 by Carbon, now called Kiesel Guitars. Let's start by uh, showing you my pedal board. I go from the uh, polytune to the disseminator to the Wampler compressor to the Andy Timmons Overdrive. Andy Timmons was lead guitar player for Olivia Newton John at one time. You might not have known that. Over to the reverb unit by Black Country Customs, the secret path. From there, I go to the John Petrucci Chorus, lead guitar player for Dream Theater. From there, I come over to the Flashback by TC Electronics for the Digital Delay. This is separate to any vocal microphones. And I've got extras, and this is the uh, foot switch for the uh, D25 by Rev. And, of course, I've got a graphic equalizer that I rarely ever use. But that's the general setup right there. Let me explain. Let me explain. The noise you're hearing is the Rev D25. Brand spanking new. Now I say it's a fluke. I think it's a world class amp. I think it sounds fantastic until 12 days after I bought the amp. Something happened. It was sounding great. And that noise started to happen. So, at the Guitar Temple, you're going to get the facts. The real deal is here. I'm not going to put up 
a video that's nice, clean, clear, and crisp, and yet everything is hunky-dory because everybody wants to get paid by everybody. Is Rev D20 a good amp? I thought it sounded fantastic. Tickle pink with it. And then that happened. Wonderful noise. So I sent it back to the store that I bought it from. Okay? The sweet people at the store. Had a major problem with that too. But I'm not going to get into that. I'm not looking to bash companies. Because the amp sounded great. You heard it yourself. Being played through my FG1 Carvin Frank and Bali guitar. Sounded great. But about 12 days in, it started to do that noise. And by the time a month and a half got in, it was doing that noise all the time. So I cannot give it a good review. If the company sees this, if they wish to reach out and send me a new amp to audition, and I'll send it back, you're welcome to do so. But I can't tell my viewers, can't, can't say, hey, fantastic amp, and uh, you're going to be loving this. I think it sounded great, but how good is it? I had my Fender amplifier for 30 years. No problems, no buzzing, no nothing. So I changed my mind on the amp. I returned it today. And I'm going to try. And this will be another review. Because I bought this amplifier. Now if that amplifier is good enough for Andy Wood, good enough for me. World class player, by the way. So I'm sorry it's a short video. Full stop. Have you had problems with yours? Or are you tickle pink with yours? You probably are. It's probably a great amplifier and I got a lemon. And it's a fluke. But I did like it. I, I thought it was the most quiet amp I have ever played in my life. It sounded like I had a disseminator on it. It was so quiet. But, all of a sudden, didn't drop it, didn't shut it off wrong. So, my review is, take it with a grain of salt. I think this could be a fluke, because it is a great amplifier, sounding wise. But if it's gonna give out after a year and a half of owning it, you know, I don't know. So. If Rev wants to send me another one, I'll give it a, the old college try again and put it through its paces. But for me, uh, I took the amp and sent it back. I can't take the chance. Uh, and I bought a Sir. So, there's the review. And I'm sorry to you. But this is as real as it gets. Everybody kisses toes. Everybody says this is the greatest. Uh, these people are financed uh, by these companies. Uh, I'm not, and I'm just telling you the truth. That's what happened. Here it is. I'm switching amps. If this has been a blessing to you, uh, do give us a thumbs up. Please like and subscribe. We do have merchandise now in the description area below. And if you feel led to do so, we do have a tip jar. 
tick job below in the description. Could you press that share button too, by the way, right there in the corner underneath the video, it says share. Would you do that for me? I would appreciate you. All right, let me hear you in the comments. Uh, I'm not bashing the company because I say it could be a fluke, uh, a coincidence. These things happen, but uh, I can't trust it. So I'm going with the sir amplification.